in the name of God, the compassionate, the merciful. Another topic we will discuss in this sequence is the puzzle of words, most of which are written and a few letters left blank. From the appearance of the word puzzle, it's easy to see that the answer is the word evolution. In the first layer of this symbol, it should be pointed out that the Darwinian and Neo-Darwinian evolution hypothesis was originated from Illuminati and Freemasonry associated scientists, and Freemasonry has always been a supporter of evolution. It is interesting to know that the founders and originators of these hypotheses were all either Freemasons and members of secret societies or were raised in completely Masonic families. For example, Erasmus Darwin was the grandfather of Charles Robert Darwin and the author of the famous book Zoonomia, in which he wrote important points about the basic concepts of theory of evolution, and the inventor of this theory his grandson, Charles Robert Darwin, also owes himself to his grandfather. The important thing about Erasmus Darwin is that he was a member of Masonic secret societies such as Edinburgh, Canongate, Kilwinning Lodge of Scotland and the Lunar Society of Birmingham. On the other hand, the maternal grandfather of Charles Robert Darwin, Josiah Wedgwood, was a prominent figure in the British pottery industry and a member of a sacred cult called the Lunar Society in Birmingham. Both Darwin's grandfathers, Erasmus Darwin and Josiah Wedgwood, were also members of the great Illuminati movement of the time, the British Enlightenment. Also, Charles Darwin's father, Dr. Robert Darwin, and all of his brothers were members of Freemasonry lodges. Although there is no precise information on the membership of Charles Robert Darwin as the originator of the theory of evolution in the Masonic lodges, but it isn't unexpected. It is obvious that such information should be concealed in order to hide the great conspiracy behind the spreading of this theory. Charles Darwin, however, has explicitly declared himself agnostic. Alfred Wallace Another famous figure in the evolution hypothesis is also said to have been involved in secret societies such as necromancy groups. Of course, despite the serious scientific flaws that have been raised, the hypothesis of evolution is fully supported by global Freemasonry, and for this reason, despite the many ambiguities and questions surrounding it, it continues to thrive in the media arena. However, in a number of articles on the alvadosadeq.com website, these drawbacks and ambiguities have been addressed in greater detail that respected audiences can refer to it. But in the second layer of this words puzzle analysis, we find that letters I, O and U are missed in the puzzle. Are these letters mentioned any point? Yes, I, O and U point to a special book called IOU. Welcome to Illuminati University, which refers to a university under supervision of Illuminati, and there are lots of Masonic symbols on book cover. This book is published by Steve Jackson Games Publication and Warehouse23.com website, and as seen at Steve Jackson Games Publication and Warehouse23 logo, symbols of Masonic Pyramid and the all-seeing eye are obvious. Also, the number 23 in website name, Warehouse 23, points to the 23rd Psalm of David of the Old Testament. Key expressions of Valley of the Shadow of Death and Dwelling in House of the Lord or Dwelling in Jerusalem Forever are used in 23rd Psalm of David, and Freemasonry, Illuminati, and World Zionism provided great conspiracies for abusing the 23rd Psalm of David during the presidency of Donald Trump, which will be discussed later. In the third layer of analysis, we point that IOU is read in English as IOU, and this point is another code that confirms dedication of Freemason director and devilish sponsors of this animation to Lucifer in direction of satisfying the damned devil. But in the layer 4, the whole phrase of evolution relates to the Kabbalah tree or tree of life. It has already been suggested that different ways of moving through different parts of the Sephirot of Kabbalah tree are possible in various forms, but the most important of them are ascension, dissension, 
and integration paths. A very important point hidden in layer 4 of this symbolism is that the ascension path of Kabbalah tree is also called evolution. So, the term of evolution, in addition to referring to the theory of evolution in biology, also refers to ascension path of the Kabbalah tree. On the other hand, in our discussion of the symbolism of lightning, we also note that the symbol of lightning, brain and serpent also point to the dissension path of the Kabbalah tree or lightning flash of creation. The dissension path of the Kabbalah tree also called the involution path. Therefore, with the simultaneous ascension or evolution path on the classroom's blackboard and the dissension path of the Kabbalah tree in the form of a lightning brain serpent poster on the class wall in one sequence, the latent message of integrating both the ascension and dissension paths of the Kabbalah tree is transmitted and finally, the integration path is obtained in the Kabbalah tree. Thus, practically in one sequence, all three main paths of the Kabbalah tree's wisdom, namely the evolution, the involution, and the integration, are presented to Freemasons and Illuminati members of the audience of this animation. In this sequence, there is another important element on the classroom blackboard. On the blackboard, it is observed that a man is hanged. But what is meant by this hanged man next to the word evolution? In the first layer of analysis, we notice that the manner in which he's hanged is similar to the English letter R. So, one of the meanings of this symbol is the phrase of revolution, and we see that this man's eyes is shown like dead people. The meaning of the first layer of this symbol is that Freemasonry and the Illuminati will destroy any revolution that is formed against itself. So, all other revolutions that seem to have the concept of revolution and are supported by Freemasonry are actually not against Freemasonry. And unfortunately, most of the world's revolutions are supported by Freemasonry. For example, the Great French Revolution or the Russian Bolshevik Revolution or the Velvet Revolutions supported by Freemasonry were not really revolutions and were an obvious magic for the transfer of power to the global Freemasonry's agents. It is interesting that at present, the only revolution in the world against all the Masonic countries, such as England, US, etc., is the Islamic Revolution of Iran. And this international history of the Masonic countries against the Iranian Revolution has continued for more than 40 years. It shows that Freemasonry will not have a good relationship with any revolution that is against it, and therefore, the international struggle and hostility of the Masonic countries against Iran has been going on for more than 40 years, which the evidence for this is cited in the article of the world under the domination of Antichrist, Iran as Island of Hope. In the second layer of analysis of this symbol, you should refer to the tarot cards again. As mentioned earlier, tarot cards, and especially their special variants, such as Toth tarot cards, are of great value in secret and Masonic communities. Meanwhile, the 22 important cards in tarot, called Grand Tarot or Major Arcana or Trump cards, matter more than any other cards. One of the cards of Grand Tarot or Trump cards is a card called Hangman, which you can see in the images. Of course, the image of the man hanged on the blackboard of the animation classroom has two major differences with the tarot hangman card. The first difference is that on hangman card of the major arcana, hangman is an upside down manner, which in classroom blackboard, the hangman is hanged normally. The second point is that in the hangman card of major arcana, the rope is tied to the hangman's foot, while in the classroom blackboard, the rope is tied to the hangman's neck. In tarot cards reading, Upside-down cards are read either as opposites, inversely, or negatively. Also, attaching the rope to the hangman neck instead of attaching to the foot again causes the card to be negative or contradictory or inverted. Mathematically, negative multiplied by negative gives positive answer. This is, in the end, the meaning of the hangman element in the animation's classroom is quite equivalent to the hangman card 
in Grand Tarot. The meaning of the hangman card in Grand Tarot is personal development and work with confidence. Thus, the mysterious message of the hangman on the classroom's blackboard is the powerful and determined move of Freemasonry and Illuminati towards the ultimate goal of setting the final stages for the start of a new world order in the Jerusalem as the capital of this order and the beginning of the Antichrist era in the world. These secret messages have been transmitted to all Freemasonry proponents around the world by the mentioned codes. In the following, we come across a completely different sequence from the previous sequences. In the new image, 12 homunculus with depressing and fade faces, numbering the number of 12 months of the year. The number of constellations and the number of tribes of the Israelites are seen surrounded by barbed wire which is another manifestation of despair and hopelessness in Apocalypse. Meanwhile, in the middle of the classroom, we see a pretty blonde girl holding a red apple in her hand and a green-brown circle around this girl, just a short distance from the mentioned circle. A small green-brown dot on the ground is also observed. Looking back at the images we talked about earlier, we can see that the green-brown circle around the blonde girl and the dot close to it resembles the mole on Obama's cheek and the circular patch near it. This mentioned circle and dot is also very similar to the English capital letter O and the small letter I adjacent to it in the word Heliophant of the animation making company's logo. So the circle and its adjacent spot in all three mentioned parts, i.e. Obama's face, circular patch, and mole image, the circle and dot around the long-haired blonde girl, and the letter O and I in the word heliophant of animation maker's logo, all point to one important point and single theme. In a comprehensive review of Masonic symbolism, we find that the circle and dot in the above elements, all refer to a star called the Regulus Star, which is very important in the Freemasonry and Illuminati apocalyptic discussions, and it had been briefly talked about before. Regulus Star is primarily seen as an ecliptic star and is very important in eclipses because of its very close proximity to the Sun. This is an image of one of the eclipses in 2017. And as you can see, the Regulus star's location relative to the Sun is exactly the same as images seen on Obama's mole, the Heliophant logo, and the circle and dot around the blonde girl. The important thing about the Regulus star is that from the ground observer's point of view, the star's location is almost constant with respect to the Sun, which is why it is well seen in eclipses. What is the reason? For the frequent reference of the director of animation I Pet Goat 2 to Regulus in this animation. What is the mentioned cause of I Pet Goat 2 animation director frequently in all over this animation? Before answering the question correctly, the symbols used in this animation sequence must first be discussed in detail. In this sequence, it is noticed that before the image is fixed on the young blonde girl, at the corner of the image and on the wall, there's a yellow flower called lily in English. Of course, the lily flower has many varieties, and the lily genus is very large genus of flowers in which all kinds of species are found. While there's another flower called water lily that is very similar to lotus, but in essence, water lily and lotus are two different species. On the other hand, the website of the animation making company, Heliophant, also mentions the name of the beautiful young blonde girl as Lily, which is also the name of some flowers. But most importantly, the word of Lily is an abbreviation for Lilith, and Lilith was an evil goddess. As for Lilith, it is said that Lilith or Lily or Lilitu were described as the beautiful evil women the beautiful queen of Anonyki, the mother of serpents, and the queen of owls, and were related to lily genus flower 
and lotus flowers. Lilith is known as a beautiful woman, the queen of serpents and the queen of owls, and her symbol is a moon attached to the cross. This beautiful woman, in the legends of the ancient nations and atheist myths, especially in Mesopotamia, was known as the fertility god and the queen of serpents. Another thing about Lilith is that in some legends, she is referred to as Adam's first wife. However, this is not the case in any of the divine books, including the Torah, the Bible, and the Quran. These kinds of blasphemous claims are distortions that have been introduced into some Hebrew books by the Kabbalistic Zionist apparatus of some of the Jewish people, including these false and blasphemous books as Alphabet of Ben Sira. It is mentioned in this book that the first wife of Prophet Adam was the Lilith, and after Lilith has disobeyed against Adam and also rebelled against God, she has been expelled from paradise. According to this claim, as Lilith was the queen of serpents, she transformed herself into a serpentine snake and then entered paradise and incited Adam and Eve, whom God had replaced Lilith and has been encouraged them to eat the forbidden apples, which according to distorted beliefs, this apple was apple of knowledge and awareness. According to this claim, after Lilith had deceived Adam and Eve and encouraged them to eat the forbidden apple, they all became those upon whom was the anger of God and God expelled Adam, Eve and Lilith from paradise. The important point is that the Satan, or Baphomet, has always been androgynous. In a way, Baphomet has both male genitalia and some feminine features such as large breasts. So the Satan has both male and female aspects simultaneously. Also, concerning the seduction of the people of Sodom by Satan to commit the heinous act of sodomy, it is mentioned that the Satan went to the men of Sodom as a handsome young man and encouraged them into sodomy. And then she turned into a beautiful woman and went to the women of Sodom and persuaded them to involve in lesbian affairs. Therefore, this also confirms the possibility of the interaction of the Satan as both male and female. According to the foregoing, it appears that what has been referred to in the distorted beliefs of some Hebrew books and legends of the ancient heretic nations about Lilith refers to the Satan's female form, which in this form deceived Adam and Eve and told them to eat the forbidden fruit, and thus to have them expelled from paradise. According to these legends, however, Lilith herself marries a male demonic creature and many deacons and demons are the result of this marriage. However, in spite of different beliefs of ancient nations about Lilith, no divine religion has mentioned that the creature named Lilith was the first wife of Adam, and these lie contents are distortions that the Satan have put into Hebrew texts like the Book of Alphabet of Ben Sira, and that is unacceptable. So in the first layer of analysis of this part of animation, we find that the pretty girl sitting in the middle of the circle is Lilith or Lily, and the red apple in her hand reinforces this hypothesis. In other words, the beauty of Lilith and the famous seductive red apple are all manifested in the characters of Lily in I Pet Go 2 animation. In the second layer of analysis of this element, we find that white dress, blonde hair, and beautiful face, besides other things attributed to Lilith like the mother of the serpents or the queen of the serpents, make a strong connection between the character of Lily in the animation, the evil character of Lilith in ancient myths, and the famous character of Game of Thrones, Daenerys Targaryen. 
Another point attributed in some references to Lilith is the destructive characteristics of Lilith, which again establishes a strong connection between Lilith and Daenerys Targaryen, especially since the meaning of the word of Daenerys is also associated with destruction, and the name of Daenerys means God will judge my destruction. As you can see, Daenerys is a beautiful young woman like Lilith. According to legend, Lilith was a widow after her first marriage and Daenerys was also a widow. Lilith is also known as the mother of the serpent. The Daenerys is also known by that name. Ultimately, both characters are associated with destruction. Interestingly, in some of the most famous sequences to the Game of Thrones, Daenerys is depicted in a very elegant white dress with blonde hair, like the character of Lily or Lilith in the I Pet Go 2 animation. So, the resemblance and relationship of these characters to each other is more than chance. However, the worldwide popularity of the character of Daenerys Targaryen in the Game of Thrones is not without reason. It is quite clear that the worldwide Masonic Zionist media empire, headed by Hollywood, is very much acted precisely and consistently, and it introduces many negative and unpopular characters of divine religions as positive and loving ones. In the third layer, the character of Lily in I Pet Goat 2 animation relates to the character of Alice in Alice in Wonderland book, written by Lewis Carroll. Another thing that links Lily's character to Alice in the image of a rabbit in the background and on the wall, and as we know, the rabbit is one of the key characters in Alice in Wonderland story, and it is the rabbit that drives Alice into the rabbit hole and from there brings her into a strange underground world with odd rules and regulations. In addition, Lewis Carroll's other book, Alice Through the Looking Glass, is the sequel to Alice in Wonderland. In Alice Through the Looking Glass story, Alice is the main character. In this story, two characters called White King and White Queen own a girl named Lily. And in a part of the story, Alice role plays on a chess board instead of Lily. I don't keep this room nearly as tidy as they should. Here are the White Queen and the White King walking arm in arm. I don't think they can hear me. And I'm nearly sure they can't see me. I feel somehow as if I were getting invisible. <gasps> it's the face of my child! My precious Lily! My imperial kitten! I'm coming! Mind the volcano! What volcano? It blew me up here! You come up the regular way! Don't get blown up! It's marked out just like a large chessboard. It's a great huge game of chess that's being played all over the world. Oh, how I wish I was one of the players. 
it's easily managed. You can be the White Queen's pawn since Lily's too young to play. You're in the second square to begin with. When you get to the eighth square, you'll be a queen. Queen. Thus, although Alice is not Lily herself, but in various ways is associated with Lily and associated with the symbolism of Lily and Lilith. Of course, Lewis Carroll, the author of Alice in Wonderland and other related stories had a suspicious personality and was a number of secret societies and many scholars associate the various strange symbols in Alice in Wonderland story with Illuminati and Masonic symbols, tarot mystery cards symbols, etc., which their detailed description does not fit in this discussion. But what is agreed upon is that Alice, as a Masonic secrets seeker, enters a strange underground world with the guidance of her Masonic master and teacher, the rabbit, where she encounters a mysterious world which rules differ from the ordinary world, and Alice, with the help of her Masonic teachers and guides, like the rabbit, reaches a higher level of understanding compared to other human beings, approaching the Masonic supremacy, and even at a certain moment stands on Lilith's or Lilith's position as the female aspect of the Satan. Of course, the mention to Alice in Wonderland and the wonderful underground world of Masonic mysteries has been implicitly mentioned in many other films and serials, including the Resident Evil film series, whose main character, Alice, played by Mila Jovovich, enters the underground world of Hive of Umbrella Company, where she gains a variety of secrets and riches the meta-awareness, although investigation of Resident Evil's film series and decoding it requires other documentary articles and movies. Overall, as mentioned, in the third layer of this episode of I, Pet Goat 2 animation, special attention is paid to Alice's story in Wonderland and its Masonic mysteries. In the same sequence, the image of a deer jumping upwards is seen, with husks spread around it and on the ground. This image symbolizes the flying deer or furfur in Latin. Also in Latin, bran and husk are also called furfur. So both the character of the jumping deer and the husks around it refer to the word furfur. But what is the importance of furfur in demonology? Furfur is a deer-like satanic ruler and a mystery instructor or teacher who was from elf species. In the case of Ferfer, it is also said that he is a knight of hell who rules over a number of demons and evil spirits, and is also known as a light bearer character among the Illuminati members and secret groups, and teaches occult teachings to his followers. Thus, both the deer and rabbit elements on the wall refer to one subject in practice, and both point to the Masonic and occult teachers. It is noteworthy that a number of secret societies, demonic groups, and others today use rabbit and deer symbols, along with other Masonic and Illuminati related symbols. As you can see, this animation has thousands of important Masonic symbols, and each symbol has several layers of meaning in its heart, which is why it took more than 40 years to make this 7 minute animation. In addition to the above, a Kala Lily flower is illustrated on one of the walls which is also one of the flowers of the Lily family. The director of animation, therefore, seems to have tried, in various ways, to tell his Masonic audience that they must pay attention to the symbols of Lily and Lilith in order to understand the secrets and mysteries of this sequence. Nevertheless, one might question the fact that all these symbols, such as the rabbit, the egg, etc., are linked to the Christian Easter. However, we should point out that many of these symbols are not related to the original and true Christianity, and the holy presence of Jesus Christ, blessings upon him, is void of such symbols. The mentioned symbols are the elements that have originated from pagan beliefs, which have penetrated Christian festivals and faiths. By distorting these original beliefs, 
they have tried to replace the true and divine Christianity. There are books and articles written by members of Freemasonry cult in this regard, in which the Masonic symbols in Easter celebrations have been indicated, and the hidden and mysterious meanings of some of these symbols have been analyzed. But in the meantime, a very important question comes to mind. What is the relationship between Lily or Lilith with the surrounding circle and the dot next to it? First, if we look at the color of this circle drawn around Lily, we will find that the color of this circle is a mixture of green and brown by examining the symbology of colors and the relation to zodiac and constellations. We find that green brown are assigned to Virgo constellation. So, this color is secretly associated with Lily. It should be noted that the literal meaning of Virgo is virgin girl, but in all ancient nations, female characters and beautiful young women have been associated with the Virgo constellation. For example, although Isis, as the most famous goddess of ancient Egypt, was married and widowed, Virgo's constellation was associated with her. Likewise, other female characters such as Lilith and Ishtar, who were beautiful young women, were associated with the Virgo constellation. On the other hand, next to the green-brown circle, there's a dot of the same color. As it was mentioned earlier, this circle and dot is similar to Obama's face mole and patch as well as the capital letter O and the small letter I in Heliophant, the logo of the animation making company, and they all point to the regular star, known as the permanent star of the eclipses. Also, the frequent use of purple color in the key symbols of this animation is another mention to the regular star, because among the four key stars of kings in the beliefs of the ancient nations, the symbol of the regular star was purple color and this fact is also mentioned in the Book of Moral and Dogma, written by the famous Freemason Albert Pike. But what is the reason for the repeated demonstration of symbols and colors related to the Regulus star or Alpha Leonis in this animation? Why does this star hold such a high significance in the Masonic symbology? There is an important notion regarding the Regulus star or Alpha Leonis, and it is the fact that after 2167 years, it left the Leo constellation and entered the Virgo constellation in late 2011 and early 2012. Freemasonry, Illuminati and pagan groups consider this astronomical change holy. This notion is due to the fact that according to the pagan beliefs in these groups, such astronomical change after 2167 years brings an end to the global predominance of Islam and Christianity. Freemasons, Illuminati and other pagan and atheist groups claim that 2000 years after the birth of Prophet Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, and subsequently Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, which brought about the predominance of divine religions to the world, all of which took place during the Regulus star or Alpha Leonis presence in the Leo constellation. The Regulus star enters a new region of the Virgo constellation in the new millennia, triggering the fall of divine religions and rise of the age of paganism and blasphemy in the world. However, such a claim with regards to constellations has never been made by any of the divine religions, including Islam and Christianity. In principle, divine religions do not concur with the certain impact of stars on living beings and hold the effects of spiritual factors, prayers, and invocations of God higher than any natural factors. The evil beliefs of Freemasons and Illuminati have roots in infidel convictions of the ancient Egypt, pagan religions of Mesopotamia, and other points of the world and hence are inherited from pagan groups and ancient infidel nations. In many messenger circles, they believe that with the beginning of the new age of the Regulus star in 2012, the world has gone under fascinating changes and current disciplines governing various points of the world have fallen apart, leading to anarchy, chaos, contention, plunging economic indices alternations in social systems, fall of various governments, etc. 
These events will lead to the collapse of old orders governing the world and would create the birth conditions for a new world order and beginning of a sole international governance centered in Jerusalem or Baitul Maqdis, leading by the Antichrist. On the other hand, masonry, Illuminati, pagan and feminist groups believe that the arrival of Regulus in the Virgo region in 2012 spells the end of the age of patriarchy and the beginning of the age of feminism and matriarchy. In this age, Lilith, the Satan's female manifestation who owns the Virgo constellation, finds dominion over the whole universe. The important point is that, simultaneously, from the end of 2011 and the start of 2012, an evil force was born in Middle East with the name of ISIL, which secretly sent a signal to all Masonic governments, summoning them to use the conflicts in Syria for the advancement of the Masonic goals. As we know, ISIL stands for Islamic State of Iraq and Levant, however, this terrorist group has been known as ISIS within the international media, which stands for Islamic State of Iraq and Syria. While it is known that the Levant region encompasses not only Syria, but parts of Jordan, Lebanon, and Palestine as well. That is the reason this terrorist group is called ISIL, not ISIS. Why has the wrong abbreviation of ISIS been famously touted in the international media over ISIL? so that everywhere in the world, people come to know them as ISIS. Was it just a verbal mistake? Previous experiences show that one should not look for chance, coincidence, or errors in these instances. Rather, there is a large conspiracy behind these apparent mistakes. But what is this great conspiracy? In response, it should be said that it is obvious that the establishment, equipment, and support of ISIL has been done by Eastern and Western Masonic governments in order to send the word ISIS as a code name for the events of the year 2012 and later, so that the Masonic leaders of the world use it to emphasize on the approaching to the new world order on the Antichrist's rule in Jerusalem. 
Nevertheless, what does this code word consist of? As we know, for a long time, leaders from the Al-Assad family have held the governance of Syria. While examining the name of this family, we find that Al-Assad is the synonym of lion in English and Leo in Latin. On the other hand, since the establishment and operation of ISIL by Freemasons and Illuminati in Syria, which for some unknown reason is mistakenly called ISIS in English, ISIS has been cryptically linked to Virgo. In masonry symbology, ISIS is a goddess of the ancient Egypt who is related to the Virgo constellation. Hence, by fanning the flames of civil war from the end of 2011 and beginning of 2012 in Syria, coinciding with the famous astronomical change of this time, meaning the transfer of the Regulus star or Alpha Leonis from Leo or Lion to Virgo or Lady constellation, Freemasons and Illuminati tried to transfer the power from Assad family or Leo family to Isis or Virgo. Therefore, beneath the bloody wars of Syria, major parts of which have been imposed by ISIS on people of Middle East, lies the evil motives of global Freemasonry to signal the arrival of the new Masonic Age. The transfer of power from Leo to Virgo was also in progress, beginning from 2012, which has been left unsuccessful to this day, with the endeavors and sacrifices of the region's Shia and Sunni resistance forces led by the great commander martyred Qasem Soleimani and his brothers-in-arms. Though Freemasons and Illuminati are persistent in their evil plans and have initiated several other actions in order to begin the Antichrist's empire in Jerusalem under the name of the Deal of the Century, which we will shall discuss in due course.